Jesus Christ spoke more about hell than he spoke about heaven. Jesus Christ, because today when we preach about hell, somebody says, stop talking about hell. Really? Jesus preached more about hell. It's because you don't read the Bible. Read the Bible. Jesus talked more about hell because he doesn't want you going there. Jesus doesn't want you going there at all. He wants you to make it to heaven. Jesus loves you so much that he wants you to go to heaven. That's why the book of Mark chapter 36, chapter 8 verse 36 says, What profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What profit a whole man, a man to gain the whole world, not even just the whole Reno, yes. not even just the whole Nevada. Yes. He says, what profit a man to gain the whole world and then lose his soul after that? What profit you man after you get your nursing degree you, without Jesus you die and go to hell? What profit you? God bless you, brother. Wow, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, see you brother. Hallelujah. What's your name? Andrew. 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 Eight thirty-six says what? What profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? So you can get the companies, get it, get it in this world, get it. But without Jesus, it's vanity. The book of Ecclesiastes says. Vanity, vanity, vanity. That's vanity. That's why Jesus Christ said in the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 16 to 18, Jesus said, love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. For the things that are in the world, they are the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. That's why you see today people have pride. You say, I do what I want, my body, my choice. That's pride. And the Bible says, God resists the proud, but God gives grace to the humble. So if you say, I do what I want, my body, my choice, I commit abortion, I do what I want. Sister, the devil is bargaining your soul. You are on your way to hell. Repent and call upon the name of Jesus, sister. Yes. Sister, don't go to hell. Call upon Jesus. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Call upon Jesus. Call upon Jesus, sister. Call upon Jesus. So today is the day of salvation. We are here to bring to you the good news of Jesus Christ. To tell you that Jesus Christ loves you, yes, but you have to repent. Jesus loves everybody, but everybody has to repent. Do you know that people right now in hell that Jesus loved? What is wrong with them? They never had a surrendered heart. They said, I'm going to keep worshipping Buddha, Krishna, Muhammad. And so they, make, they went to hell. They went to hell. There are many people now in hell. Jesus loved them, but they never came to Jesus because the Bible says in Acts chapter 2 verse 21 that those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved they never called upon the name of the Lord they lived on the earth eating drinking sleeping and they died if you are you an animal no if you if you are in this world just to eat sleep and to die then you are just like an animal are you an animal Without a purpose in life? So purpose means, yeah, I got a PhD. Really? Go and try to cast a demon with a PhD. Bah! So that's not purpose. That's not purpose. Yes, we should have those things. I have degrees too. I have a car too and all those things. But it, it won't take me nowhere. It won't take me nowhere. It's not what's going to save me. It's Jesus Christ that's going to save my soul. It's Jesus Christ that saves me. Yes. So if you Amen. depend on, I got my paycheck, I got my bank account, I got my car, I got my this, those, that thing is called flesh. Yes. Jesus said those things will perish with you. Rich. First Timothy chapter 5 says clearly, it says clearly that those who put their faith and trust in the things of this world, it is vanity, it is flesh. And the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 5, that curse is a man that put his trust on another man. Amen. God bless you. Yes. I see you. <laughs> I recognize you. Yeah. So a lot of people are putting their trust on Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, manager, this and that. They will fail you. Even your certificate will fail you. Even your marriage will fail you. Because the Bible even says there's no marriage in heaven. There's just marriage here on earth. So when you go to heaven, there's nothing like, hey darling, we were on earth. Nothing like that. There's no marriage in heaven. So it's not like Islam that says, when you go to heaven, you're going to have 72 virgins. Come on, that already proves it's a false religion. How can you go to heaven, you're having 72 wives? And that's why you see people blind going there. <laughs> Come on. That's not.
not the will of God for you. The will of God for you is salvation. That's the will of God for you.